disadvantage to them at all right now. He's definitely a strong player in the scene. And uh, yeah, Standoff Search and Destroy is going to be our second map. This is one that I absolutely despise playing on Search and Destroy. I love it playing on CTF and Hardpoint, weirdly enough, but I cannot stand playing it on Search and Destroy. But we're going to get the game going straight away, Pizzy. Now, I would expect TCM to take this. I would as well, but they have a pickup fourth, and Search and Destroy is all about timing and teamwork, Chewie. It really doesn't matter how great of a player you are. It's all about timing and your teamwork. And so with that fourth, uh, that random fourth pickup they had there, and I know Jake is an, an amazing player, but he doesn't know how TCM plays Search and Destroy. In this game especially, there's so many different ways you can play Search and Destroy, so it's going to be interesting to see if he's able to f uh, fit into that TCM strategy. Let's go on board with Jake right away, Chewie. Let's see what he's about to do. Yep, let's jump on board with him and see what he's going to be able to do. As you say, moving over towards that A-bomb site, he does get somebody with that uh, flash grenade or stun, I think, that you threw over there. See somebody there. Wow, gets a nice headshot nice there. Shot. I'm not sure if somebody else got a few bullets into him, but he's got the initial first blood making at a 3v4 situation and they've made such an aggressive push on this a bomb site looks like bomb's gonna go down as we see monksy climbing it there getting the 100 score um managing to plant it down and we see jake picking up another kill there he's already on a two score streak leaving hadzi and stora the last two left alive nice play from hadzi there hadzi played very well in that oh nice two piece as he played really well in the yemen hard point now he's got to do it all he's got to get this uh He's got to get this 1v1 clutch. Can he pull it off? Putting shots on the tank. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to get that kill. He's going to chase the player down. 20 seconds. Good play from Hadsy Chewy. Gets three kills in that round. Really saving his team with the 2v4 clutch with his duo partner right there, Store. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is what you wanted. You know, you need that kind of motivation, especially after you lose that first hard point game. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've got to come into Search and Destroy and just say, okay, it's a new map. You know, we need to start again. We need to completely forget what happened in that hard point game. Just go again. And from a, you know, 2v4 situation down, they managed to completely take it back. As you say, Hadzi getting three kills in that first round, and he also got the defuse as well. So I'm not sure how close he's going to be to score streaks. We'll jump on board with him at the start of the second round and see how close he is to those score streaks. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, he's earned his RCXD actually, so he's also going to be close to that uh, lightning strike and that hellstorm missile. Great start to the game, Pizzy, if he can earn all three of those. Definitely, we'll see if he can. Actually, right here, as we do see the sensor, sensor grenade come in, you don't see that too much anymore. A lot of people like to rock that cold blooded as Jake rushes in again and takes the bomb down store. Gets a nice two piece, Ooh. and Hadzi is a my goodness, he's playing very well, Chewy. Moving <laughs> it up to a 1v2 situation from Rich. He's able to take out Store. Now it's Hatsy versus Rich. Can he? And Hatsy. Come on, man. Just playing <laughs> out of his skin right now, Chewy. He's 5 0 after two rounds, dude. This is exactly what we wanted. This is exactly what Insight wanted. We want close games. We want it to go to this last map. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see if Hatsy can keep this going. He's going to be just that tiny bit closer to his Hellstorm missile. And TTM have got to be aware of that. You know, they know that he's playing out of his skin. They know that he's going 5 0 right now so they definitely need to make sure that they can shut him down we switch on board with the attacking team again let's jump on board with somebody new we'll switch on board with rich right now because he was definitely playing well in that first hard point game as with all of tcm we'll see him start to move here with this m8 towards the mid street section got to be cutting in through l although as you see a couple of kills go down 3v3 situation they took out hadzi they took, they took out hadzi there we go that's a big kill that's a huge kill marky b Maybe he doesn't know Chewy the uh, the gra gravity of the uh, of the kill he just got there, but it's really going to help his team out because that hellstorm could do damage here on standoff. So let's see how TCM play this. They're all set up. Look like they want to push into that B bomb site, but a good setup on the other side here from Insight. Got two people watching it. Store is going to pick up Jake. Nice shots there from Rich, but unfortunately unable to get that kill. He's going to have to back off. Marky B doing a great flank here. He's going to try to get the player in yellow, and he is able to pick up Store. It's a two v two situation. Now, Chewy looks like bombs about to go down. Yep, and as you say, smart play there from Marky B. You know, they were in a difficult situation, 2v3 down, and Marky B just went, you know, I'm going to go on the flank, take him out from behind, and it worked well, evening the situation up to 2v2. But Rich has still got work to do here because I think they know he's going to be over by B. And there we go, Marky B's teammate goes down, leaving it in a 1v2 situation. He's got 20 seconds left on the clock, and he's decided to move away from the B bomb site here, Pizzy, and he does get shut down. 3 0 is the score. I've seen bigger comebacks, but definitely insight looking good here on Search and Destroy. Good plays there from Pato. And I liked the way that Insight played that, Chewy. They didn't get impatient when they saw that everyone was going to the B bomb because they knew they could rotate over to the A bomb. Everyone just stayed where they were. You had Pato on stage, and that's exactly what happened. They, uh, TCM tried to rotate, and Pato shut him down. Good plays from him. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right, we'll switch on board with the attacking team again. Let's give Stora some love because I don't think we've really seen him so far throughout this series. We'll give him a bit of stream love, see what he's going to do. Let's have a look at the scoreboard as well, see what's going on. Hadzi going 5-1 and one right now. Stora going 5-3, and three, so he's definitely playing well. 
Unfortunately, Monksy and too much dropping those donuts right now. Hopefully, they're going to be able to pick up their game before this match ends. I'm sure they will. They're both brilliant yeah. players. And there we go. Stora picking up loads of hit markers towards that cube section over by the A bomb site. And he's not going to be happy that he's not picked up a kill with those hit markers. Yeah, definitely. You have to wonder if he's put impact on his M8 because impact makes it look like a wall's not there. So maybe <laughs> maybe that's something to remember in the future for Store. Unfortunately, he's got the bomb and he's pushing by himself here. It looks like he wants to rotate towards his teammates, and he is going to do that. As we have a lot of shots going down, but still no kills exchanged. So this is a slow-paced round, and we've seen Jake is usually the player who's running around like an animal right now and it's it's interesting to see that he is all the way in the back of his spawn yep slow round we've seen a lot of aggressive pushes especially tcm in that first round they made a very very aggressive strong push towards that a bomb site but definitely yeah, something a lot done. slower yeah. now so still a 4v4 situation with only 28 seconds left on the clock something that you don't really see too much especially on standoff because it's such a close quarters map but mikey b managing to open up the kills taking out Stora there with that scorpion things have got to move fast now because you know they're on the attacking round here in sight and if they don't want tcm to get around on the board they've got to do something but pato is the last one left alive and he gets shut down much better round from TCM there. They shut down everybody really quickly towards the end of that round, and it's 3-1, Pizzy. Well, the, th the saying is, too, you take a few rounds in Search and Destroy to gauge how the enemy team plays the rounds, and if you can, if you adjust properly, you're a great Search and Destroy team, and it looks like that's what TCM just did. They played the first three rounds super aggressive, and then this round they just stayed back and let Insight come to them, and it worked out in their favor. And now they're up. They got a one round on the board. Anything can happen from here, Chewie. Yep, for sure. Let's jump on board with Monxie, who is going to be the bomb carrier. I've just seen that we've passed 500 viewers on the stream. This is absolutely brilliant. Thank Jesus. you so much, guys. This is what we wanted. Is going up quickly. Love to see that kind of thing. And yeah, we'll jump on board with Monxie, who is the bomb carrier. Taking a few bullets, actually. I'm not sure who from. I didn't see anybody there. But he's happy just to back away and play it slow, whilst the rest of his team really get aggressive. And look at that. Marky B going right round on the flank. We've seen him do this before, Pizzy. But Stora is just too smart and said, no, Marky B, you're not doing that. Two down for TCM here. Great plays again from insight and it looks like Hatsy wants to come in through tractor Drake with a great kill on Pato Hatso does take out Monksy it's going to be all up to Jake now Jake does take out Hatsy good kill great awareness play from Jake knew exactly where he was 1v1 situation store against Jake Yep, he's still got plenty of time on the clock, though. Does Jake 44 seconds, and he knows that the bomb is down over by A. It looks like he's going to be going right around the back. I'm not sure if they know, but they are right on top of each other right now. You can see in that bottom right-hand corner, look, they're going to meet up here. It looks like Story is going to get killed. He almost got Jake there. I think that must have scared Story. He probably blinked and jumped a bit when Jake suddenly came around the corner. And Stora actually goes down there. Even though he had that scorpion, he wasn't able to pick up the kill, and the jump shot didn't work. Jake's accuracy on point with that MA. 3-2, they're only one round behind now, Pizzy. And I was just looking at my notes for EGL, and Insight did tell me, Story did tell me that Search and Destroy is their favorite game mode right now. So this is definitely, definitely a key map for them to take. The well, good plays here from TCM to take away their favorite game, <laughs> game mode, Chewy. We'll have to see how it plays out. I'm going to go ahead and jump on board. Let's go on board with Too Much. I don't think we've called him out in this Search and Destroy yet. Let's see what he can do. He's going to be watching with his AR, that brown uh, courtyard area. Nice shots put into track. They get three hit markers, and he is rocking that, uh, that uh, FMJ impact attachment, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Unfortunate not to get the kill there, Chewie. But as, as I was talking, it does look like Inside have Bomb lost dropped. two players now, and now it's all up to Too Much. Yep, Too Much the last one left alive, and he's in a drastic situation because it's 1v3 against DCM, and if there was a Search and Destroy team from the EU side who I would not want to be in a 3v1 situation <laughs> against, it would definitely be TCM, and the bomb is down the complete other side of the map. TCM are fully aware that the bomb is down over by A, and Too Much has got a lot to do on his hands, and you know, we saw Hadzi going massive at the start of this game. He's going five and oh but unfortunately since then he's died four times and only got one kill too much mm. the last one left alive he's only got one kill throughout these five rounds so far and there we go making it one and five everything's all even busy great plays by tcm to bring this back marky b and jake are the smartest players i have ever seen they knew that he didn't have enough he was wasting too much time to be still be at loading there too much and so they realized that you know what our teammates got mid control. Let's go ahead and wrap around blue because he's wrapping sides. around and he caught him with his pants down right there. You, that's that's the smartest destroy. thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, that's an exaggeration. <laughs> but still, what a what a play there from Jake and Marky B. And we'll have to see how they play this attacking because they have brought it back to and it's tied up 3 3. Yep, tied up 3 3 is a score. We'll jump on board with Marky B, as you say, such a smart player. And they're going for what looks like a back alley B push or something like that. Something a bit weird. Typical setup here from the inside lineup, playing it really defensively, just making sure that what they've not actually not got anybody's not got control of that a bomb site which is something that we don't usually see on standoff usually it's the place that everybody loves to get control of but it seems like everybody's just going really and taking it slow from tcm here what do you think of this play busy 
Well, you know, TCM, they've adjusted, and it's working for them. So who am I to criticize anything they're doing? They've been playing slow since the, uh, they lost the first three rounds, and it's working. So just keep keep at it. Keep your slow pace down. Try to get a pick early on and try to make it a 4v3. Then you can push into a bomb side, effectively trade, and uh, try to get a bomb down and maybe win the round. So, you know, it's working for them so far, Chewie, like I said, three times already. <laughs> no, hopefully it does for, uh, work for them this round. Yep, I have a feeling it will do is they're starting to make a really big aggressive push here onto the A bomb site as I wasn't expecting them to do, but it's obviously starting to work for them. Although too much they managed to pick up a kill, too much gets taken down. Revenge kill there from Rich. Great plays by him. Let's jump on board with Rich. See what he's going to be able to do. He does get taken out though. Stora gets the two piece. Hansi goes massive as well, taking that Marky B at the end. Not something that I expected. I thought when TCM started to make that A push that they were really going to start to dominate it and come in and win the round and take the lead. But there we go. Insight. Really great play. Is a nice one burst to the head of Marky B, shutting him out and going, no, we're regaining our lead here on Search and Destroy standoff. There you go, Chewie, the adjustments again. It looked, then we saw, you called it out early on. You said Insider playing this very defensively. They didn't even push up to the A bomb site until about 40 seconds in the round. So good place from them. That's what they do. This is all Search and Destroy. Is it just see what your enemy team's doing, adjust to it, and try to pick up those kills. And now up. Huge rush coming in from inside, right to the say bomb site, Chewie. Yep, and Stora needs to get this bomb down as quick as possible. I think he just picked up a hit marker there with a grenade or a flash or something like that as soon as I jumped on board with him, but he's going to be able to get the bomb down, putting all of the pressure on TCM right now because they've got more players to take out, and they've also got they've made that three before. And yep, Marky B is flanking though. We'll switch on board with him just because I love watching this guy and see what he's going to be able to do. Takes out a patter, and they not come to terms with this right now. Unfortunately, Marky B didn't realize that there was a trophy system down there, and this is just all turned in favor uh -oh. of the guy from TCM, they've managed to handle this incredibly well, leaving Stora the last one left alive. He's taken out, Marky B on a three score streak, and look, they've just not got to terms with his flanking method that he keeps doing over and over again, and they keep getting shut out by it. Stora managed to, you know, shut him down earlier on, but since then, you know, Marky nope. B just keeps doing it. Great plays. They let him go right in there, and he picked up three of the kills, Muncie with the fourth. Great plays from Marky B, really impressing me, Chewie, and the search and destroy, his search and destroy game, and you know, kind of regretting leaving off my top 20 list right now, but uh, no. <laughs> Man, what a, I'm really interested to see a score right now because he's been playing well this entire Search and Destroy game. Yep, let's have a look. We'll bring up the scoreboard as this round starts. Let's see what's going on at the minute. And 10 wow, and 10 and 5 as we predicted. And he's also got that key diffuse as well. How close is he to Strix, actually? Let's jump on board with him, see what he's doing. He's about halfway to that Hellstorm missile. If he'd have been using an RCXD, I would have predicted that he got it right now. Everything all even, as you can see by the top of your scoreboard. 4 4 is the score right now. We'll jump aboard with Jake, though. Let's see what he's going to be able to do because um, it looks like Hazzy's going to be calling in his RCXD finally. We haven't seen it for a while. He got that right. I think it was the second round. He actually got that, but he does manage to get well, no, too much. Sorry, he gets taken out there by Jake. Great sniper skills from Jake coming in there, making it a 3v4 situation. Real strong back alley push here from TCM. And they just keep changing things up, Pizzy, and doing different styles, and I like it. Unpredictability, that's the name of the game, Chewie. Search and destroy. You don't want to be predictable. You don't want to let the enemy team know exactly what's going on as Jake does pick up another one. It's oh, going to be locked up to Hatsy, but Jake says, sit down, son. Don't ever bring a gun to a knife fight. Shank. That's all I can say right now. He gets a few hit markers on Hatsy. gets a few more. Pushes in here. Hatsy misses his shot and goes, there we go, right in the chest. You're not shooting me anymore, my friend. And TCM are going to take the lead here. 5-4. They were 3-0 down here on the standoff. So it's destroy. And this is a massive round this is you know more than the team probably can comprehend right now i'm probably making that a bit more of a dramatic than i should but as i said pizzy whoever wins this game you know whoever wins this match guarantees himself 300 pound um and you know search and destroy is insight's favorite game mode apparently so i do expect tcm to take the respawn game mode as we see kills going down store is the bomb carrier though so we'll switch on board with him 3v3 situation we'll have to see what happens as we do see an exchange of kills Marky B to get taken down, so the TCM's best S&D player this uh, game is taken out, so we'll have to see the bomb. Looks like it's going down, and it is going to be Stor oh, putting man. the bomb down. He's trying to get out of there. They know Monksy has a sniper. Good play to get out of there, but he is sort of pinched here as Monksy is set up on that tank. Jake wants to pinch with Vic, uh, uh, Rich here going through yellow. We'll have to see how they play this. TCM starting to pinch now, Chewie. About to get a lot of action here. Let's see what happens. Yep, all the kills are going to go down in a few seconds. And there we go. We see Monksy managing to take out Stora. Rich giving away his position. And he does manage to take out Hadzi there. Not very smart play from Hadzi because he knew that Rich was there. And he didn't do anything. He just kind of walked straight into pretty much leaving too much. The last one left alive in a 1v2. But he's playing it incredibly what well. He knows where they are. Oh my gosh, look at that kill. He's going to ball back away here. What he's a play it. from too much. Wow. Oh, he's oh. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Great. It doesn't matter. Still, good style kill there from Rich. 
But what a play from Too Much Chewy. 1v2 situation. 1v3, I believe. Picked up the kill, Brown. Gave away his position. Knew that TCM weren't going to try to defuse the bomb and make it a 1v1 gunfight. Comes all the way around. As soon as TCM picks Jake, gets the bomb, and he just kills him. He stays alive. Oh, my goodness. Too Much. Great play. Overtime. I love Search and Destroy. I love casting Search and Destroy, especially on standoff. Like, it's so much fun. There are so many quick kills that go down. The momentum of the round can just change so quick on this map. It's all such close quarters. And let's jump on board with the man of the hour. He's going to be your bomb carrier. As we see a sensor grenade coming now. I'm not sure if his position is going to be completely taken away. Strong push here. We see trophy system defense is coming in for too much. He knows that we're down by that tractor area. As we do see Jake go down and had to go down. Storm manages to pick up Look at that. Marky, Look at him turn this around. Life. And he's weak, man. Wow. He's weak. He's naded. He's got to avoid three players from inside right now. What a turnaround, Chewie. It looked like TCM just completely outclassing inside there for the longest time. In the last two rounds, inside pick up their cane and take this search to destroy 1-1 one, one in the series, Chewie. I've got a smile on my face, Chrissy. I did not want to see a <laughs> shutout today. Insight said search and destroy was their greatest game mode. I cannot wait to see what these guys can do on land because TCM are an incredibly strong search and destroy team. We cannot deny that at all. And they just managed to go completely clutch there as we do see Marky B going 10-7, and seven, but Storm are going 11 and 9 with those two plants has he going even at the end great plays from both teams there you've got to give it up for both of them going down to that last round and store as two piece pretty much was the entire game changer there because you know when it yes, comes it down to that 11th round pizzy two quick kills and you pretty much just you know change the whole momentum of everything wow yeah, and a great play there from Too Much. He put in so many bullets on that guy tractor. And Store is like, well, if he's one bullet, I guess I'll go over there and challenge him. Did pick that one up. And then on a full health player for the two-piece, absolutely massive. And we got Slum CTF, Chewy. This is, you thought this was the first map, but we finally <laughs> made it. <laughs> we find, No, 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 no. We, we finally got a Slum CTF. This game type has changed. It's probably this map and game mode. Uh, combined are probably the most ever-changing I've seen so far in Black Ops 2. And it really seems to be the bad side is where you get some caps now. Yeah, 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 for sure, definitely. I mean, everybody does, does like to cap it and still classes that top spawn as the good side. Yeah. But, you know, I definitely, uh, that, yeah. I mean, like, everybody does it. You know, it's just the way that it's kind of the stereotypical response if you think about that. But you can get flag caps on the other side. We did see TEC go down yesterday. They were, you know, really strong, we thought, on uh, CTF from the first time we saw them. But yesterday, Supremacy just went absolutely massive on them. And I think they got, like, three flag caps on the bad side yesterday against TEC. So yeah. it's definitely possible, as I do see, we have 539 people in the chat come on guys let's try and hit four figures i'm wondering if we're going to be able to do it i have seen some more predictions coming up in the chat i did see it's in sanitize just put their 3-1 tcm and i'm going to agree with that because i definitely think if tcm win the ctf here they're going to take the next hard point game i would love to see it go to a final map i would love to see insight put a bit of pressure on tcm here and take the ctf game but we'll have to wait and see and if it does go to that final map, do you give the advantage to Insight? We just saw what they did on Search and Destroy. They had a 3-0 lead. They were up. They might have gotten a little complacent in the game. Then they let TCM come right back and take it down to 5-4. Uh, and then they didn't lose their composer, Chewy. All credit to them. And we saw a nice clutch there from Too Much. And they ended up taking that Search and Destroy. Do you give the advantage to Insight? Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not calling anything fizzy because whenever I've been known to call something, I don't. You know, I've casted this map before. Again, TC were playing in this tournament and they were playing against, I can't remember who they were playing against now. I think it may have been the Nexus or somebody. And TCM were 4-1 down. And I was like, yeah, I'm calling it. That's definitely it. That's a sure safe bet. And then somewhere out of nowhere, TC, no, T, yeah, TC, I believe it was, went absolutely, or no, that could have even been TCM. I can't even remember right now who it was, but they came back, made it 4-4. So, you know, anything can happen on Slum CTF. I can't even remember who that was. Um, but I'm really excited to see how this game pans out. Hopefully we're going to be able to get it started as soon as possible. Capo is the man who is hosting this, of course, Evil Capo, the guy who big owns that evil. Capo. Yeah, big thanks to Capo for coming and giving this a neutral host. We haven't actually seen that, I don't think, in the pre-EGL 10 online tournament. So big shout out to him for being able to do this, because, you know, then nobody can complain about host or anything yeah. like that i do love a neutral host when possible i love it chewy and i think it needs to be implemented in big tournaments you know you just you get someone in there who's got uh, <coughs> kansas city google fiber <clears throat> where you get a thousand <laughs> down and a thousand up and you got one ping and, and then, then if, if you lose you lose and you can't complain about it because everyone's playing on that internet but you know i love i love neutral hosts yeah for sure there we go tcm versus the nexus was the score there we go other people in the chat who have got more brains than chewy reminding me that it was tcm versus <laughs>